and seven murders. They helped make O Block a feared set after O.D. Perry was killed. Outside of the varsity will move forward today, Little Dirk appeared in court where a judge ruled there was enough evidence for him to go to trial. Channel 2's anchor Lori Wilson is live near where the shooting happened near the varsity, and Lori police say they have video evidence in this case. Jimmy, the APD says they used at least five cameras from local businesses, including this BP, as well as from the varsity across the street in order to build their case against Lil Dirk and his co-defendant. On Friday, detectives from Atlanta and Chicago testified in the criminal case against rapper Lil Dirk in Fulton County Court. They say around five in the morning on February 5th, Lil Dirk, whose real name is Dirk Derek Banks, and his co-defendant, Devontae Bennett, were seen on camera involved in shooting Alexander Witherspoon, a person police say they knew. They were hanging out. They went to a um, studio to make music. The rapper and Bennett listened to the evidence against them in court. Police told
later that night, the victim, Banks, Bennett, and others went to a nightclub, a gas station, and ended up in the parking lot of the varsity. That's when Weatherspoon said he was robbed and shot. He said his chain was snatched off his neck and he had $30,000 stolen from him, and they stole the vehicle he was driving. Police say Banks was seen on tape shooting a gun. You see Mr. Banks' arm out the window firing several shots at the victim, towards the victim. Banks' attorney says this is a celebrity witch hunt. Were it not for the celebrity status of these two individuals, then this would be an aggravated assault. Banks released a single Turn Myself In the day he turned himself in. It's gotten almost 7 million views. It's called to give an independent review of a deadly shooting where an off-duty city of Atlanta police officer fired shots. Well, it happened early this morning on Trinity Avenue, and tonight at least three people are dead. CBS 46's Armel Lyons is live tonight near where it happened. Armel? Yeah, Rick and Sean, according to GBI, rapper King Vaughn and his group were at Opium Nightclub before making their way here to Monaco Hookah Lounge, then to the parking lot where chaos ensued. It hurt us. It hurt us a lot. I cried. Some some of my friends cried. He, he, he had a big influence on us. A really big influence. 26-year-old Devon Bennett, also known as rapper King Vaughn. He won't be back on the streets he Everyone that he let, they gonna be cold. Shot and killed after a deadly fight erupted in front of Monaco Hookah Lounge.
Vaughn at that time wasn't at the right place. I wasn't at the right state in his mind. You know, you guys could take it how you want to take it from there, but he wasn't in the right state of his mind. He had an album release party. Once we left the album release party, from there, it was complete confusion. The Vaughn travels with three to four security, armed security. Because he's he a has security. Of course he has security. He can't carry a weapon. Oh, he got to have security. He traveled with three. This is a superstar. You think we're not going to make him travel with security? He traveled with That's three. That's one of the big big questions is like, wait, was he just moving with street guys? Why did he oh, have security? Vaughn had three. I traveled with one security that moves with Vaughn, and he traveled with two more security. You know what I'm saying? Vaughn traveled in a bulletproof truck. So all this extra speculation is about security and not doing any job. And not only that, his guys are security, man. He travels with 10 to 15 guys daily. And they and they protect and love Vaughn more than any security would. Matter of fact, I will put Vaughn's life in his guys' hands before I put on security. That's that's how close they is. Those guys will lay their life on. Matter of fact, I can't even, I won't even say what lay they did. Two died of the situation. And those two is not the only ones like that. All his guys is like that. But you guys don't know what happened, bro. So, you know, just, I'm going to go on a on a quick description of what happened that night so y'all could really know what happened. We left Opium, which was his album release party. We're, I think we're about eight, 10 cars deep, uh, 20, 25 on Honorage. Um, everybody mind leaving the club is that we're going to the hotel and the Airbnb because that's normal routine. Yeah. We, we, the, the, the club you went to, the after hours, wasn't getting paid for it. I didn't have no acknowledgement of this team that had no acknowledgement of. That was, a, that was a complete bond decision. And he had the right to make those decisions. He, he Wait, hold, hold on. So, the, the the y'all left opium and went to a different club, which we didn't even know was going to. Right? Okay, so, so the, the the club that's in that security footage is that's not opium. That's not opium. Oh, okay. That, okay, that's a, that's an after hour spot that we didn't even have no acknowledgement that we was going to. Okay. So so really, everybody jumped in the car. Um, I drove to the club with Vaughn in the um in a in a, in a Hellcat. So going out the club, he jumped into the bulletproof truck, and it was him and maybe two, three, two or three more individuals in the drive. So everybody else that was with us driving to the Airbnb or to the hotel, and Vaughn literally went to the venue by himself. And Vaughn literally went to the venue by himself. Later, from from um people in the car like hey bro we here by matter of fact i think from this dj was like hey bro you know we here by ourselves like where you guys at and everybody rerouted to that venue so already confusions were already started because normally if we got an after party or we got anything we're going to we know as a team everybody know to be on point you know what i'm saying we're traveling with a real deal thanks a real step somebody who's more on point the security at this somebody if i'm on the road away i'm with him like because he you know how to move he you know how to pick spots like yo this man is like i promise you the, the best artist i ever moved in my life as far as knowing how to conduct himself properly but for some reason that night it was all like we he stayed in the car for like 30 35 minutes and everybody outside it's cold and it's shivering. Like everybody outside wondering, like, what's going on? What's going on? So people starting to go back in the cars. Like all the honor rides, everybody was with. They went back in the cars. So I went to the went to the uh, car he was in. I was like, Yo, Vaughn. Went inside the passenger seat. I'm like, Yo, Vaughn, bro, what's going on? Like, like everybody here waiting. Let's go. He was like, All right, let's go. So at that time, this is where the security come in. At at that time, we're we're telling security. Hey, it's time to go in now. Vaughn's ready. You know what I'm saying? We've been here too long. Let's go inside the club. So they do their rounds. They go inside the club. They check the venue. Go inside. Check the outside. Make sure there's no threat. Now, common sense. If you guys know security, nobody cannot go inside a club with a weapon. No matter who you is, you cannot enter a building with a weapon. <laughs> alert that 
that we're going into the club, all security put their weapon inside their cars. Because we're thinking we're going inside the club. Now, right before we go inside the club, one of his um one of his homeboys came to the driver's side and he said, Hey, we seen so and so. I I'm not gonna say no names. We seen so and so in the car. And instantly in the car or in, in the spot? No, we seen they he literally our car is right here. Yeah. And and so and so put up right there. So you had one car, which is one car before, you had another car, which is our car right here, and you had other people parked, scattered yeah. everywhere else. And one of Vaughn homeboys came to him and was like, hey, we seen so-and-so in the car, he's, he's asleep. And he jumped up, I'm talking about like. Wait, wait, so the other dude was sleeping? Or like, so like or, 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 or just like, just not aware type shit? The other artist was, was sleeping, unaware. He, he just okay. went up to the club. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna give nobody no name. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever. He put up to the club, and I believe it was just him and his driver. That's what supposedly what it was. Him yeah. and his driver, and a McLaren or some type of car they had. So one of the guys spotted him, and they came to the car where me, Vaughn, um, BJ, and a female, and one more person was in the car. And he came to the car and said, "Hey, so and so's here." And Vaughn just jumped up like, oh, come on, let's go. 